What's going on guys? God bless you. Carlos here with Serrano's Mobile Detail in Dallas, Texas. Thank you so much for joining me in today's video. I am so excited uh, because today's video is one of my most favorite ones. This is the type of work um, that really started uh, the Serrano's Mobile brand many years ago. I am known for this type of work. I am known to tackle these types of scenarios, which it just makes me always so excited to do. Um, and I can't wait to show you guys a little bit of uh, how this car looks, what we're gonna be doing it, the process, what do you need when you're tackling these types of jobs. So definitely uh, get ready for a very awesome video full of deliciousness. Um, these are always my favorite projects and I'm so excited. Um, the only thing or the downside for today is right now it is literally like 30 degrees with the winds blowing at like 15 miles an hour. So it's making it like 25 degrees. Um, but before I start, check out my new jacket. Check out my new parka. Shout out to Avodrock. Look at the back. Look at the back logo. That is sick. So, hey. I'm gonna be nice and cozy out here. But before we start that, um, right now I've gone ahead and started a um, ozone treatment, uh, which is phase one of this whole thing. And I'll explain to you as to why I started the ozone treatment on this vehicle. Um, but we're gonna get the ozone treatment kind of going. I'm gonna get set up and uh, get all suited and we'll get started with this project. While the vehicle is getting the ozone treatment going, I got a 30 minute um, ozone treatment running right now with the car is fully on with the air uh, full blast as well. But a couple items that you will be needing today or whenever you get a, a, a type of scenario like this. One is you're gonna need a lot of gloves. You're gonna need gloves. You're gonna need a, um, a mask. This one here is, uh, I got it from Amazon. I'll post a link to it. Um, and I have really enjoyed it. This one here has the um, uh, the special filter, which is more for like gases, which is why I like this one rather than the ones that are just like plain. This one just has like more filters so that when you're inhaling, um, you're getting a lot of like the bad odors. Um, we're also gonna be using a seatbelt scrubber for this one that all you do is just open it up like this. You stick your seatbelt right here and then you just scrub your seatbelt. Um, you're gonna need maybe some tooth uh, cotton uh, cleaning swabs and you're gonna need a lot of tools because most likely what we're gonna end up doing is removing the seats out of this car and you're gonna need disposable towels you gotta buy a bunch of towels uh, because all of this is gonna be disposed you're also gonna be needing a um, like a suit for I mean honestly I wouldn't wear one but for the sake of this video, we're gonna go ahead and, and wear one. Um, and lastly, you're gonna need a cabin air filter. This is very important. Uh, at the very end of this whole project, we're gonna be putting a brand new cabin air filter uh, to this vehicle. Um, so that is all you need. You're gonna need obviously blowing tools. Uh, we're gonna be using the extractor as well. Like today, we are pulling all the gadgets to get this car looking really, really good. Now you're probably asking, how does this car look? Well, <laughs> let me show you how this vehicle looks. Guatemalan is that uh, we're just short people and it's always hard to find correct sizes for us so we're gonna go ahead and get our suit out and it also comes with the uh, like shoes this is like if you're working oh it has oh it's all built in 
<laughs> I said it comes with shoes. So we're going to go ahead and put this on. I was, golly. Um, comes with a little zipper. I bought this one from Home Depot. Got this from Home Depot. And all you do, guys, is since it's nice and windy today, you let the air do the work, right? And then you put your, just put this sucker on. I hope this fits me good. I think it's gonna fit me big. The, the, I think the, the worst part is like putting this on. I know people are gonna be driving by like, what the heck is going on with this car? Well, obviously we are out here making miracles happen but put your always suit up just to be safe you want to be safe so you're just taking precautions nothing crazy <laughs> it actually does fit me quite snug so i got one pair of gloves and then i'm gonna put another pair of gloves on top of this and it'll pretty much be on the inside of the suit Bam. <laughs> I can't see. <laughs> I can literally cover my whole face. All right. Enough playing. It's game time. I got to stay warm. It's cold. all right phase one is pretty much done which was 
a pre-treatment ozone treatment right i did a 30 minute just to kind of start getting this a little bit better i can honestly say it doesn't smell as bad as it did the first time right now i vacuumed it everything that looks a whole lot better now it looks like a normal car right uh, but the goal now is to really remove the odor clean this thing up really well um, before I start cleaning the dashboard and everything usually when I'm working on an extensive project such as this one my first step is going to be cleaning the seats cleaning them nice and thoroughly and then what I'll do is I will unplug the battery and then I'm gonna be removing the seats off the reason I do the seats first is because if I start cleaning everything or if you unplug the battery first then you don't have mobility to move the seat around as you want to so that's why i tend to always just do the seats first really well clean them as thoroughly as i can uh, and then we'll just remove them and then we'll continue on the rest of uh, the uh, the vehicle for the first phase we're gonna go with and i'm sorry about the about the beeping um, but first phase we're going with bust down from drive auto appearance we're gonna spray this on the leather seats really well. This is just to start removing all the buildup. Um, and then it should turn out really, really well. I love going with this just because it cleans it really well. Um, I've used it plenty of times. I haven't had no issues. Um, and then what I'll do at the very end is usually I'll come back with the Biobomb uh, pill on the spray and like spray everything and wipe it, which also neutralizes the odors. Uh, so it helps really, really well. Um, but that's what we're gonna do first is buzz down with the rack company i have the drive auto appearance rinseless product in here uh, we're going to be using like an agitation brush brushes and the chief steamer to really get this stuff moving you're going to start activating really all the odors because steam just reacts with anything For the towels we're gonna be using these these are from home depot but i also have some walmart ones and these are all going to be disposable not bad <laughs> It's getting there. Perfect. I hope. <laughs> it definitely looks way better now. Hey, I saw you doing your uh, YouTube deal. Uh huh. So at the end, you need to be like, holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell did I get myself into? <laughs> it's a fun project, though. Yeah, I.
So my microphone died on me, so I hope you guys can hear me. So I was gonna remove the seat, but I'm able to really get all around the crevices pretty, pretty well. So what I did is bolted all the seats, right? And so all I'm doing is sliding the seat forward, and then I'll clean this area, bring it back. Plus I'll have enough room to clean all around here, which is perfect. Saving me from having to pull the seats out, but I'll still be able to clean this interior really, really well without having to remove the seats out. Just move them around, you'll be all right. Alrighty guys, really, really quickly, I'm actually here with uh, the customer who uh, gave me the opportunity uh, to service this car. Disclosure, this is not his car. Um, <laughs> he's actually um, taking care of it for the owner of this car. So, um, but really quickly, um, how did you like um, the service overall? Well, the service started with the day that you came out and looked at the car, you know, because obviously it was in horrific shape and uh, we actually had two detailers pass and then I got your name from another detailer and they said, this is kind of the go-to guy. If he, he don't do it, <laughs> probably nobody will. <laughs> so, so anyway, uh, when you came out, uh, you know, just from the word go, your personality, uh, you were on point, just like, um, you know, just popping on, hey, let's look at it, let's do, and I'll give you a fair assessment. And uh, I was really impressed with that. But more than anything, you said, I'm going to shoot you a text in a little bit. Uh, we'll firm up a few things and you followed through with everything that you said you were going to do. And even uh, um, on, on the way out today, you know, I wasn't expecting you for an hour, but an hour early, you know, you were like, hey, I'm on the way. I'm, you know, um, I'm, I'm coming to do the car because I thought you might have ghosted me and, and disappeared. <laughs> You're like, oh, I'm you not know, it's, go. been a, it's been a week, so you may not show up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But you didn't. <coughs> and, awesome. And that doesn't even start about the what yeah. you did for the car. Um, so. And uh, the next question would be, I guess, now that the car is complete, how... How did everything look? Uh, on, on point. And I mean, I'm just going to be real honest with you because I heard you talk a little bit earlier about uh, the price that was paid for the car. Well, it's a 2021 Lexus. Seven months ago, it was bought um, um, immaculate. There was zero wrong with the car. And it was at the point of having to be junked or sent to an auction. Uh, for auction price, no salvage, I mean, or just salvage. Yeah. And um, you've restored the car. So, I mean, like literally before I wouldn't, I wouldn't get within 20 feet of the car. I let you do all of that. Uh, but now I would drive down and get a Coke. Now I'm not going to go get something to eat yet because PTSD might kick in, yeah. but I would go get a Coke and drive it back. Definitely, definitely. And uh, just the last question, if there's one quality you liked about maybe uh, overall, what is one quality you liked about my business or myself that you could? Well, you said you did. And uh, so that's huge. And uh, you didn't overpromise. You didn't underpromise. Uh, you delivered on exactly what you said. Um, uh, the communication factor is on point. Uh, I've, I've got a Harley that I hadn't even thought about you doing. But after looking at this, I, I thought, well, actually, earlier I said you were the magician. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I, I was like, man, you're like a magician. You're not yeah. a car detailer. You're a magician. And I found out he lives in Oklahoma, close <laughs> to the lake. Oh, boy, we're going to go do that Harley and fish at the same time. <laughs> there, there you go. There but you go. no, overall, I, I do appreciate um, the opportunity. And uh, one, getting to meet you, talking to you while we were working. And, you know, it was there was a lot of things we could relate, I think, in in. in and life in general. Um, but again, thank you again for the opportunity. Um, and it was truly, truly a fun project uh, to tackle on, so. Well, and uh, uh, so I'm actually doing the house also, not the car, but the car was um, a bigger issue than the house. And the house was horrific, but the car was just like, uh, yeah, yeah <laughs> it, it was just crazy. So, <laughs> so I mean, like my, my biggest headache is now gone. That's so good. I appreciate it. We relieved one so, headache. One headache. Yes. I, I've got another dozen, <laughs> but we got rid of one. Definitely. So. 
Alrighty guys, this project is finally done. Um, I'm very excited, I'm very happy uh, with the overall outcome on this vehicle. Um, and for those that are gonna be on the comment section, as always, lighting it up. Uh, backstory to this is obviously, um, this belongs to um, uh, a lady. Obviously, uh, conditions um, was kind of what created this um, scenario right um, but i'm happy to say that she's doing well um obviously now is is more of a reset so i think for me um if you're probably wondering why the heck did you tackle this i wouldn't do it trust me a lot of detailers wouldn't have done it um, but if there's something about me is i really um strive for quality and my my name is something that i cherish a lot um, and for those who have been following me for a while you do know that serrano's mobile um is known for this type of work when i started my business this is the type of cars i was getting a lot um, and every time i get a car like this it's always a it's always fun for me because it takes me back to my beginning days right these are the type of vehicles that put your skills to the test right and before i forget if this is something you've never done i don't recommend you tackling it i if you get something like this it's better for you to say you know what i am not um, knowledgeable in this area now some may say all you got to do is vacuum extract there's a little bit more than just that um, there's levels to this is you have to understand the material you have to understand how long this has been like this right because there's a lot of things that can happen there's a lot of things that can go wrong um, so if you aren't comfortable with projects like this be that good detailer and say you know what this is something I don't do right in this scenario, I think there was a couple detailers or maybe one detailer that came and he literally was like, nope, I don't want to do it. I don't, I'm not knowledgeable in that area. Um, and they referred him to, um, to me, uh, right? Um, and I was really happy, obviously, because I got the opportunity uh, to work on this car, right? And um, it was really just a fun, fun project overall. Now, my phone, pretty much battery died. My microphone, uh, battery died so everything was just going downhill so i didn't record some of the stuff uh you i caught some stuff and then i didn't record other stuff so i do apologize for that right but hey the important thing is that now my microphone is charged and my camera is and my phone is charged which means i get to show you the afters so how did this car turn out let's take a look As you guys saw, this thing looks amazing. It definitely got life back, right? There was a couple areas in the rear where I think just from stuff sitting for so long, it did pretty much ate the leather. Um, nothing I could do there, but really, I think if you tell me on a scale of one to 10, how this thing looks, I'd say it's like a good 12 um, because it turned out really, really good. Um, obviously, the odor was the major concern. Um, I think there's a little bit beyond, maybe an issue beyond on this, which I think is we really needed to lift like all the carpet. Um, but I think and I hope we nailed it. Um, I put the ozone treatment. I think I did a good hour, hour and a half um, with the uh, dry pod and just moving the air all over. We cleaned the headliner, we cleaned the seat belts. Uh, we removed the cabin air filter, put a new one on. 
uh, we use the Drive Auto Appearance Lux Cockpit Conditioner on all plastics and leather to give it just that nice finish. Um, obviously, on the exterior, we did we did give it a wash. We washed the engine as well. Um, it has some scratches on the sides, which I took care of as well. Um, but overall, the condition of this car turned out really, really well. I'm very excited, um, and I hope, and I can't wait um, to see this car on the road probably, you know. So um, now... The most popular question that a lot of you guys are going to be asking is, how much was this project, right? And I'm not lying. <laughs> I'm serious. The total amount on this vehicle today was $2,000 from beginning to end on this interior. The cost reflects all the work that was done to it as far as knowledge, the skills, and obviously, I kind of see it as a bio biohazard, right? Um, when... When doing types of cars like this, you have to reflect your equipment, right? Right now, when I get home, I probably won't clean it. Um, but tomorrow, I think, yeah, tomorrow, we are doing a deep clean on both um, vacuum. Um, on the vacuums, I think I did showcase, I pretty much emptied everything in that vacuum, put it in the bag. Um, I'm going to double bag the white bag just to make sure that... <clears throat> nothing like um, none, none of this kind of goes out into the open um, obviously everything in there um, this car had like maggots they're dead it flies are dead um, but I just don't want to create more of a problem if that makes sense so um, when you're doing these types of vehicles be very fair be very honest with your skill um, and the price right um, I think the price is very fair some will say man I, this should have been more and in a way it could have been more, right? But honestly, I'm very happy and very satisfied with the amount that was charged today. Um, I know there's going to be detailers out there like, man, I wouldn't have done it. It would have been at least more. I know some will say probably 3000 3500 which is usually the norm price for something like this because of the amount of work you have to do. Um, but honestly, guys, if you guys know me, I'm all about fairness. Um, the scenario looked bad, but once you clean it or at least did some sort of vacuuming, this thing looked like really good, right? Majority of the stuff was like real deteriorated leather, really dirty. But honestly, um, once we vacuumed the floor, it looked really good in my opinion, right? But I know in, in the video, it probably looked like it looked bad. But for me, like I know my skills and after I vacuumed it, I'm like, this thing is in good shape. It just had a lot of bugs, um, but that is minimal. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching um, today's video. Thank you for at least um staying with me to the very end um i hope you guys enjoyed a little bit of this uh project uh the last product i didn't mention that i used was um bio bombs um i had some of their bio bombs the pills um, and obviously you fill it with water or distilled water you throw the pill into your sprayer and the pill dissolves and that is a good um like an odor eliminator as well so i sprayed that uh the odor on it is a little bit kind of like bleach so but don't worry it's not going to stay in anything it's not going to stay in your carpet if you're going to use it like on on leather and plastic spray it on your towel preferably and wipe it off um on the carpet i sprayed it on there and then i put the dry paws just to kind of get all that going um I did tell the customer if by any chance there's still a lingering odor, just let me know and we'll do another ozone treatment, right? Um, I back my price, I back my, my warranty, and I back my word um, that if there's anything needs to be done to this vehicle in the next couple of weeks, maybe another ozone treatment, let me know and I'll gladly uh, take care of it for them. Um, but anyways, thank you guys for watching uh, today's video. I hope you guys have an amazing weekend. For those here in Dallas, I hope you guys are starting to get your firewood, your milk, toilet paper because that's everything that goes off at walmart so uh, get ready because it's gonna get pretty pretty cold so thank you guys for watching as always god bless you guys and i'll catch you guys on the next video